These are 10 of the highest profit dropshipping products that you should be dropshipping right now. Bring them on. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of the products on this list might seem a little bit basic, but that doesn't mean that you can't make a high profit margin selling them. You just have to know how to market it and you have to know how to go about it in a slightly different way. It's just all about marketing now. So today we're diving straight in and the first item on our list is a foldable laptop stand. Now, remember how I said that some of these items are gonna seem a little bit basic? Well, this is what I'm talking about. So when I say a foldable laptop stand, I'm not talking about one like this one right here. If we're being completely honest, it looks like this MacBook is is actually about to go down those mountains using this laptop stand as skis because that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a pair of laptop skis. And honestly, a stand like this really provides absolutely no value other than just raising your laptop a little bit. You want one that is extra. You want something that has a bit more pizzazz, a bit more spice. You know, you want something that is actually going to provide some sort of value. Something like this one, for example. So this one is obviously a bit more expensive. This one runs at $64, but this isn't the one that we're looking at. We're actually going to be looking at this one right here. So this one runs for $58. And while it might look like a basic stand, it actually has four USB ports on it. Having a USB hub on your laptop stand can be extremely beneficial and it saves a lot of room, especially since some computers MacBooks in particular don't have built in USB ports, at least not the newer ones because of how thin they are. So because of that, something like this can be extremely beneficial to a Mac user. Now, this one is currently running for $58 and 15 cents, but I've seen these sell easily between $100 to $120. And if you're buying it at a retail store, even more, you can find these sometimes at even $150. Now, with that being said, of course, the ones that are $150 in store are going to be branded. They are going to be known brands, but that doesn't mean that you can't start branding your own the same way and one way that you can actually do that is by simply reaching out to the seller so all you have to do is go ahead and click on their store name up here then under the store name over here just click on contact now and send them over an email ask them if they offer custom branding if they offer white label products or if you're simply able to just brand your own products through them now you can do that for every other item on this list or for pretty much any item that you're going to be drop shipping being able to brand your own products will help you in being able to sell them at a little bit of a higher price typically when an item is branded people are willing to pay a little bit more now if you want access to everything that i'm talking about in today's video then just make sure you check out the description down below there's going to be a link to a relevant article in there next up we have a kids drawing set now these just like the previous ones i've seen in stores and online for almost double the price here we have a 150 piece set and it's currently going for 15 dollars and three cents the typical price is 25 dollars but again you are able to sell these for about 49.99 55 dollars also during specific times of the year you can even sell these for a little bit more specifically right before school starts right around the summertime towards the end of the summertime and during the holiday season next up we have a wireless tire inflator now these have come a long way in the last few years back then i remember the typical standard was one like this so these are the ones that you would just plug into your car's cigarette lighter and then you would inflate your tire with them these typically are super loud and take a long time so with advancements in technology we now have one like this this is portable and it's battery powered you can charge it with a usb and typically these are running anywhere between 60 to 100 dollars it all really depends on the features, how big it is, how much noise it makes, how fast it can inflate your tire, but that is an average price. Now with the AliExpress welcome deal, you can get this one for just $10.24. Regular price is about $41.20. Next up in our fourth spot, we have jewelry. And I'm not talking about a particular piece of jewelry, I'm talking about jewelry overall. Jewelry itself is a very, very lucrative niche, meaning a lot of people like to spend a lot of money on jewelry, especially handmade jewelry and custom jewelry. Now, one of the best places that you can source your handmade jewelry from is hands down always going to be Etsy. On Etsy, you can find pretty much anything that you need. So here you have a few different pairs of earrings, which honestly, these are very nice. They're only running for $13.51. Typically, they're about $39.72, which let me let you in on a little secret. A lot of the times when you see an item on sale on Etsy, chances are it's always on sale. This is a very, very common marketing technique on Etsy, which is pretty much used to build up a little bit of pressure on the customer and urge them to make that purchase. Because if they don't buy it now, tomorrow it might go back to regular price. This is something that I always did, except in my case, what I do on Etsy is instead of always having my items at 20% off, one month I'll have them at 20% off 
The other month I'll have them at 10% off. Another time I might have them at 15% off. Now what Etsy is most famous for is its handmade items. That is what Etsy is known for. So this makes Etsy the perfect jewelry supplier. And best part is you can even increase your prices a little bit extra because you can say that they are handmade items or handcrafted for the most part. Of course, you do want to make sure that you're checking the descriptions. You want to read over everything that they have in their descriptions and make sure that what you're saying is authentic. You can't just make up and say that something's handmade because if it's not, then you can get in a little bit of trouble. So just do proper research. Just go into the listings, go through the description, see what they have to say about it. Next up, we have fitness equipment. Now, one piece of fitness equipment, regardless of what it is, is not going to be what makes you these huge profits. What's going to bring you bigger profits in this niche is going to be bundles and packages. So let's say you're offering a yoga mat then you can also offer a roller along with it. Offering different add-ons for different products that are typically frequently bought together is a great way to increase your average order value and start making some higher profits. So as a quick example, let's say you're offering a punching bag. Now with a punching bag, a lot of the times people don't necessarily just go at a punching bag barehanded. They're going to need some sort of protection for the hands, in which case you can offer gloves or wraps. Same goes for, let's say, home workout equipment. So let's say you're offering a pull-up bar. You can also offer some resistance bands to go along with it so that way they can vary their workouts generally speaking whenever somebody goes to purchase anything that's fitness related they are going to be ready to spend a little bit more money and buy something to go along with it something that complements what they're doing up next at number six we have watches but we're talking about a few watches in particular one of them is smart watches so it's no secret that the apple watch and samsung watches or the google pixel watch are huge successes but it's also no secret that they're pretty expensive especially apple don't even get me started with apple so because of that a lot of times people look for some alternative solutions in which case you can find a generic smartwatch which pretty much runs on the exact same software that a samsung one would be running on which is just android these are all going to have the primary functions of any of the branded smartwatches they're going to have bluetooth they're going to have messages emails music control, pretty much anything that you have access to on an iWatch, you can have access to in a more generic smartwatch. Kids also always want the latest watches. They also want a smartwatch. They always want an iWatch. And a lot of the times it's not really worth it to get one for a kid because they're going to be slamming it all over the place. In which case parents are going to opt in for one of these. Now, as you can see, these are pretty cheap. This one's running for $17, down from $38. This one's $24.31, down from $45. And you can easily sell these for double the price at about $99.99 or even $150. Another very lucrative watch style is luxury style watches. Luxury watches can be extremely expensive, sometimes running over the thousands, five thousands, even ten thousands of dollars. Now, not everyone wants to spend or can spend that much money on a watch. Me personally, I would never spend that much money on a watch. I think that's absolutely insane, but some people do. But for people like me, we turn to watches like these, the more generic luxury watches where they have the style of the luxury watch, but they just don't have the brand name. But honestly speaking, who's going to really look down into a watch and just look for that brand name very, very meticulously with a magnifying glass. Anyway, looking through some of these over here on AliExpress, you can see that some of them are pretty nice. Some of them do resemble some brands that are already out there. But as long as you're not saying that these are those brand names, then you'll be fine. At the end of the day, this is a watch style and a lot of watch styles are extremely similar. So looking through a few over here, you can see that let's say this one right here, this one actually kind of reminds me of an Emporio Armani type watch because of the type of face and the type of bezel around it. I used to sell watches back in the day, so I know a little bit about watches. So this one in itself is actually really nice. I remember these, the actual brand name was selling for about maybe five or six hundred dollars. This one you can get for just $3 or at regular price, just over $15. These you can easily sell for over a hundred, maybe even $200. Now, one quick tip to help you actually get those sales is make sure you have a proper website. Make sure that your website looks luxurious. Make sure you play off that part. Also, when it comes to the name of the website, don't just go with something generic. Try to come up with a good name. Try to come up with a good style and a good theme for the website. Also, don't make it into a generic store. Don't sell a little bit of everything. Try to niche down for watches. If you can establish your presence as an already established brand simply by the look of your website, then chances are people are going to feel a lot more comfortable making a purchase from that website. Home decor is up next. And within home decor, there's quite a few different items that you can sell that can make you some pretty good profits. One of them being wall art. Now art is subject the same way that they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This applies the exact same way to art and how much it's valued at. The value of an art piece is really going to vary from person to person. Let's take, for example, this painting right here or this image of this guy about to eat some Taco Bell. So this you can just easily sell for maybe 14 or $15 anywhere. But if you really want to sell this for, let's say, 
four or five hundred dollars, then that's also very possible as long as you look for the right audience. If you have the right audience and you market it correctly, art can be extremely lucrative. Rugs are also some pretty high ticket items. You can source your rugs anywhere, but one of the best places to do so has to be Wayfair. Now on Wayfair, you can find them in a pretty big range of prices. Just look at this one right here. This one goes between $28 all the way to $410. Now that of course really is going to depend on how big the rug is and the type of material. But if you can snag a rug on sale, you can easily sell it for the retail price on your own website. Even then you can sell it for a little bit extra. Just keep in mind what I keep saying. Make sure that your presence can reinforce luxury or a high-end lifestyle. Again, easiest way to do this is structure your dropshipping website appropriately. Now, I understand that this is something that a lot of people have troubles with. Me, Personally, I absolutely suck at designing. I'm not very good at it. And when it comes to making something very aesthetically pleasing, again, it's kind of hard for me to do. So one of the best ways that you can do this and one of the easiest ways that you can do this is simply by going on a website like Fiverr and just hiring somebody to do it for you. On Fiverr, you can find a range of different people in a range of experience levels with a huge range of price ranges. I'm pretty sure I said the word range a lot by now, but you get what I'm talking about. Pet products are up next. And one thing that I can say about people and their pets is that there are some people that see their pets as their kids. And I mean that quite literally. There's some people that treat their pets just like they would their kids. And because of that, they're not shy to spend a little bit of extra money in their comfort and making sure that they're having fun and just are overall comfortable. Now, one item in the pet niche that is extremely lucrative has to be pet beds. In particular, dog beds. So a dog bed you can find on AliExpress for about $23. One that is a pretty big size for larger or extra large dogs. A large to extra large pet bed in any retail store can easily run over $100. Me, I have a pretty large dog and whenever I have to buy a new bed for him because he either tears it up or it just gets a little bit old, I absolutely hate going to pet stores because of how expensive they are. So personally, I always look for them online. Pet toys are another high profit item simply because people are always purchasing more. Pet toys are not indestructible. Eventually they are going to break. So people are going to buy more and more, especially if they have bigger pets, such as bigger dogs, in which case, like me, you're purchasing pet toys on a weekly basis. And because of that same reason, people tend to purchase multiple at a time. So if you're offering pet toys, make sure you offer some pretty low priced ones. That way people can purchase multiples instead of just one or two. Of course, that's not to say don't offer bigger items or more expensive items. This is just one way that you can start increasing your profits. Kids toys are up next. And if you have a kid, then you know that these toys are absolutely never ending. You always have to buy new toys for them because they're always growing out of them or they're always breaking them. Same thing goes for kids clothes. Now, one way that you can make a little bit of extra money when it comes to selling kids toys is by offering educational kids toys. The value of a kids toy can really be increased if the parents can find a bit more use in the toy other than just pure entertainment. If there's an educational side of it, then parents are willing to spend a little bit more money on it, especially for the younger kids. When it comes to toddlers or younger kids, parents tend to shift towards the educational toys to help them learn and to help them develop. Writing tablets or doodle boards are a perfect example to this because it can help a kid start to develop creatively. It can help them with a little bit of hand-eye coordination and teach them to start writing. This is great for practicing as well. As they get older, kids then start to shift their attention to more fun toys rather than educational. In which case, there's things like kids hoverboards, which can be sold at a pretty high price. So some of these you can purchase for just under $100 and you can easily sell them for two to 250. Kids trains sets are also another huge seller, especially during the Christmas time. So model train sets, of course, depending on the size, can be pretty lucrative. These can be sold at some pretty high prices and sourcing them from a website like AliExpress, you can get them for pretty cheap. Another highly profitable item when it comes to kids toys, especially during Christmas time, is play sets. So these play sets are going to vary. You can have kitchen play sets, you can have workshop play sets, you can have tea sets. There's a set for pretty much anything that you can think of. So as you can see here, this is a total tool set and it's selling for just $3. Of course, that's the welcome deal, but you can get it at regular price for just under 25 at $23. Then you have the makeup sets for girls. These are at just over $25. You have the tea sets over here at just under 20 and even doctor sets. Kids love playing pretend. And honestly, the best part out of this entire thing is that since there's so many pieces in these sets, kids are going to lose them. 
So parents are gonna keep coming back to purchase more. And last but not least, we have beauty products, such as the makeup brush sets that come in a variety of quantities and a curling iron brush. Now, this one right here is actually one that I highly suggest. This is one that you can brand yourself because there's a bunch of different manufacturers and suppliers online that support white label drop shipping for items like this one. So you can put your own brand on this, you can put your own logo or even customize some of the colors on the packaging. In which case, like mentioned earlier, you're able to price a little bit higher than regular because of the fact that it's branded. Of course, make sure that you have a matching website, make sure that your website's aesthetic matches the branding that you're going for on the packaging. Because if it's two completely different things, people are not going to have trust in it and they're not going to purchase. And those are the top 10 high profit dropshipping items that you should be dropshipping right now, along with some extra tips and tricks to help you get started selling them. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember, if you want access to everything that I talked about in today's video, all you have to do is go ahead and check out the description down below. There's a link to a relevant article in there. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Truly means a lot. And with that, catch you all next time.